We're broadcasting live from Stairway to Heaven Arena in downtown Purgatory. The crowd is going wild and partying like it's 1999. I think someone opened Pandora's box and all hell broke loose. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The New York Prince take on the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic blast. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and eight to go. That's a six yard gain. Second down and two. Ah, oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Yeah. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and a pussy here. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change his score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad light, but it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Second down and five. Third down and five. <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here. Should move him back nice, nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. This guy is going to get mugged in the locker room the team after the game. Second down and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck of hit. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shock you back up. The defender says, I don't think so. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. Man, it'll be a first down. First down and nine. Second down in a mile. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Oh, Don't want to 
to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes the best are... Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does. Ouch! What is this? 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot.
for a second there. Second down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Third and four. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and one. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. First and four. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll be second down and four. Here 
And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not drunk, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my tongue was again. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that... And the offense quickly calls their second time out, that's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we are, Grim? wrestles away from the... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they can do in the next play. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten hot one hot two the second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime brought to you by monsatan industries we make genetically engineered food that is to die for And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Gets the ball. Get the first down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And he's off to the races. The 30. The 20. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle.
finishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second down and four. And the defense spiked the offensive water with strawberry fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Nicely done for a first down. First and four. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and long. He is fighting for every yard. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey. Don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Grab hide the stash. On it. Third down in the QB. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down and forever. And he did chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted 
a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. If I'm adding anything, really tastes good. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. It's a brutal hit. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Third down and a sliver. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. And that play didn't have a chance. The defense comes up with a big st Now, these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to Dirty Tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Oh, boy, there. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get up. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pit to hell for at least another three hours. Demons is so moody. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? Oh, nice hit. You can put a pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the ground screw is going to use a pitchfork to toss him onto the mutant meat wagon. Hey, Grim, wouldn't it make more sense to use a spatula? Yeah, good point.
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns, man, what a hit that was. for no gain. Second down and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. Knocking every first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Third down and, well, good luck. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in... Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Punt should move him back. He's got the ball now and is going to 
try and score. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and more than the QB would like. That pass was good for 10 yards. Third down and three. down and we are all tied up and we're going to overtime go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream at your television this is going to be great Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. Team last week, I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet bag. Where you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Put on a display there. Touchdown. <laughs> the other guys got caught in a mob. That's a win for the Rock and Rollers. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I think the mission I expect to go dance on a pole or something. Girls, man, I'm about a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...